Decisions by top DHS officials are putting them and all Americans at risk due to two directives that essentially tell them to let illegal immigrants go unless they are high priority targets like convicted felons. The suit says agents are being forced, quote, to violate federal law. It's commanding ICE officers to violate their oaths to uphold and support federal law. Violate their oaths. usurping and encroaching upon the legislative powers of Congress and violating the obligation of the executive branch to faithfully execute the law as required by the United States Constitution. The lead attorney in the case says he believes this is like Operation Fast and Furious, which he characterizes as the federal government telling law enforcement officers to break the law. Break the, the law. Okay, the this is no, coming from active duty arrest. federal agents, folks. They're confirming. This administration is going to come down on them like a sledgehammer. I like mean, a sledgehammer. Employees, they have no protections. None. And we're very concerned that uh, you know retaliation is going to take place against these folks, and they could also lose the ability to support their families just for filing this lawsuit. Retaliation. So let me tell you, this is not something that we take lightly at all. Administration officials say they are acting lawfully and within their authority, and point to the Supreme Court's recent ruling on Arizona's immigration law. You'll remember a key portion. Okay, was, folks, uh, you see what they're saying? These are active duty Arizona federal Justice agents. Anthony they're being Kennedy told quote, to violate their oaths and violate the law, the law itself. Human concerns. Unauthorized workers trying to support you see what I'm families, saying? For example, likely pose less that's, that's straight from the horse's mouth. To commit a serious crime.